Now widgets are building blocks of Flutter. If you go down to the docs, you'll see something called a widgets catalog, which would tell you how you can dive into this deep set of Flutter widgets available in the SDK. You can think of these widgets as like Lego blocks. So let us say you want to add some text. There are a lot of, there are text widgets available that you can use. Now let us say you can think of these widgets as Lego blocks, which you can put one on top of the other to build your whole application. Inside this widget catalog, you'll see all the different widgets available. Let us say you want to add some text. So you have a text widget, which we just saw. So this displays a list of different text widgets available to you. We use the basic one, which is text, and it lets you add some text to your screen. For example, we had hello world show up on our screen. Defining a text widget is very simple. You type in text, give it the round brackets and type in the string that you want to show. You can also add certain other properties, which we would discuss as we move along with the tutorials. But let us come back to our widgets catalog and try to see what all other widgets are available. Let us say you want to add certain image to screen. You have an image widget available, which you can use to add certain images on top of the screen. For example, let us try using this image widget using the documentation itself. If I come back to my Flutter app, instead of this text widget right here, I can cut out this code and paste this image widget. If I quickly format document, it should make it more clearer. And now I can hot restart my application to sync these files to this. And now you'll see a, a image appear on screen, which was added using this image widget which took in a network image and we passed in the URL for this particular image to show it up on screen. Now, what is the scaffold widget, which we were previously using scaffold is a very simple widget. It has a lot of properties available in it. For example, let us say you want to add an app bar like we previously had. So you can type in app bar, which is the prop name of the property that you want to specify and then pass it an app bar which is available by default. This is how we create, uh, this is how we pass in a widget. So we type in the widget name and open these round brackets. If I'll save this file really quickly, you'll see a blue app bar appear on top of screen. I can also give it a title. So right now we want to pass in some text as title to this app bar. The property that we want to define is called title and it takes in a widget, which in our case would be text, because since we want to add some text, I can say hello world again, right here. If I save this file, you'll see hello world appear in the app bar, which is what we wanted. So we have a app bar. We also have a, another other properties available, which you can check out by keeping your cursor on top of the widget going down and you can see all the different properties you can define. One such property is the floating action button, which can be added as a button right here on top of screen. Let us check that out as well. So if I type in floating action button, I can pass in a floating action button as an empty widget. It shows us some error because it says right here that the argument on pressed is required for a floating action button. So we apply the quick fix. So we apply the quick fix and once we save this file, you'll see a floating action button here, but it does nothing since the on pressed is empty. Now this is like a brief overview of how you could be building applications. The two things that you want to remember from this particular video is we have a lot of widgets available in flutter to use. There is the documentation that you can refer whenever you are stuck for what widget to use. We'll be talking about some of the basic widgets that normally are required uh, in this tutorial itself. For example, we have so far seen the scaffold widget, which would let you add an app bar, a floating action button, and also have a central body to modify. We have seen an image widget, which can take in the image property. This could be set to a network image or an assert image that you want to use locally by creating asserts in your project folder. We'll also see how to do that. And we also checked out the text widget, which is like a very basic widget to show some text on top of screen. 
In the next tutorial, we'll check out more widgets available to us. For example, we'll dive into the buttons. We'll see how to create layout so that you can arrange different elements on screen. We'll also see how to create our own widgets.